Would you have OJ on the podcast? I've been wanting to talk to him. Um, I reached out to him when he was in prison. So I sent him a couple of letters, which was really hard to do. Um, I tried to soften my approach because I figured if I came at it hard that he would be an absolute no. So I tried to appeal to a softer side to him. How do you do that? Uh, that was uh, 20 letters later. Um, I, you wrote I just, to him in prison? I did. Directly? Um, mm-hmm. And he got the letters? I assume he did. I don't yeah. know. Um, I ended up talking to his attorney at the time, Yale Galanter, who we had a couple of conversations um, about how that conversation would look and how that situation would go. And he couldn't protect me while I was in there. And he was worried about my safety. He was worried about my emotional well-being. And then... The lawyer was. Mm-hmm. Mm. And when I assured him that I would be fine, I'm tough cookie, um, he wanted me to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, that it never happened and I would never be able to talk about it. And I said no. Mm. Wait a second. So I guess the idea of that was is that if OJ spoke to you and maybe he even said to you, look, okay, I did it. He wanted the assurance that you wouldn't go public with it. And essentially that's what he told me. And I mean, he was very candid with me and I appreciated that. Um, and he kept saying, I can't protect you while you're in there. Do you think, I mean, I don't know that you would know because you don't really know him, but do you think he has any actual remorse? Do you think that he lays down at night and says, oh, fuck, I, I, I did a horrible thing? Or no. do you think he doesn't even, does he think he thinks he's innocent? You know, he has either convinced himself that he didn't do it. I don't know if he just thinks, ha ha, I, I, I pulled the wool over everybody's eyes. Um, what has frustrated me, though, is that he's never acknowledged the bravery of my brother. Why does he have such anger towards me and my family? You'd think that if he was so innocent, financially. but if he was so innocent, right. why wouldn't he be saying, you know what? I just Listen, want to thank, and I want to thank Ron Goldman for trying to save yeah. the mother of my children. Yeah. I mean, and if he did it, he killed the mother of his children. Right. Well, uh, Kim Goldman's podcast, Confronting O.J. Simpson, is available wherever podcasts are downloaded. Have you put it out to him to come on your podcast and, and talk? We have. Um, we've put it out to him um, through his, his attorney, too. Um, and it's I know people on pod, on uh, Twitter have been talking about it, too. Um, you know, it shifts for me, uh, the, the reason I'd want to confront him now, um, because the visual would be very different, because now he's able to, you know, move about the cabin on his own. But I don't want to talk too much about what I think I would say, because then it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, I wonder what you would say, actually, because... I, I mean, what would it, you say? What would you say? I don't know. You know, first of all, I don't even know that I could stomach being in the same room with them because it's, the situation is so fucked up. Yeah. I don't think I would be coherent. I think I'd want to kill him. Yeah. I don't, you know, my anger, my rage would be too great. You know, I, I again, I keep going over it in my brain. Um, I do feel like I would have all of that rage. Um, you know, we only saw each other twice um, during the, the civil trial or I was able to be in close proximity to him and I couldn't get anything out. I mean, he was looking at me up up and down like a piece of meat and you know he kind of did like that like you know like when he looked at me and I was like don't look at me like that and that was all I could say <laughs> of all the years that I've you had mean, all like this a time. sexual look yeah he kind of yeah. did like the okay, one you look pretty him. good mm-hmm. so what do you think you would say to him I, th- I think it would be just that visceral reaction what I'm feeling in that moment and maybe it is just what if he owned up and said to you I'll tell you what I got nothing to lose here I'm really sorry I lost my mind and I killed your brother mm. What would you do? I don't know. Yeah. That's what I mean. I, I, you know, he thinks you're going to interview him about fantasy football advice. <laughs> right. You know what <laughs> I mean? And what he thinks of the <laughs> debates. Yeah. 